In the summer of 2021, I cycled, paddleboarded and hiked from the bottom to the very top of Scotland. And I called it the Scottish Adventure Triathlon. This is the cycling section. Can't stop, midges will eat me. Hello, I'm here to tell you about the sponsor of this video. It is not this very nice house plant that sat next to me, although the plant is relevant. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. So I've been using Skillshare personally for almost a year now because there's new classes uploaded every single week, so there's always something new to learn. And this month, I've done a class on something that I've genuinely been meaning to learn for Yes. I really want to start growing my own food or at least try in. So I took a class called Indoor Gardening Grow Houseplants, Veggies and Herbs with Ecta Chowdery. You can see the different lessons down the side of the screen here and growing your own food was the one that I was most interested in. However, this one, understanding your plants, was incredibly useful for a novice like me who has no idea what they're doing or as Ecta called me, a serial plant killer, <laughs> which I quite liked. So anyway, because I did Ecta's lesson on house plants, I decided to get one of those. I'm not going to try and eat it though, so I have got myself some soil enricher and I've ordered some seeds and I'm going to try and grow some food. Wish me luck. If you'd like to try Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description of this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Spathiphylum? Spathif... I don't even know if that's the name of the plant. I don't even know what it is. Should we just call it Barry? <laughs> I started this adventure triathlon in Lockerbie. I was nervous, not for this cycle really, but for this being the very start of a very long journey and one that was planned all by me. Everything was down to me. Whatever I had done, whatever I hadn't done was down to me. So I'm less than one kilometer in and I've already stopped to do some bike adjustments. <laughs> I've got to take the um, tent poles off the frame because they're catching on my leg and it's doing my head in. Um, Genius over here did not practice riding the bike with all the kit on it before I did this. It's not that I didn't think of it, I just didn't have time. <laughs> It'll be fine, it's all part of it, we just adjust as we go. As soon as I got going, I quickly shook the nerves. I'd started and from this point on, I'd deal with whatever lay ahead of me. two things, don't judge me. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I'm just in this nice little valley and um, I've been cycling north all day, so cycling into a headwind because there's a northerly wind today, but I've turned now and I'm heading west for a little bit. So I'm in this little valley it's just lush because I'm out of the wind. Got a bloody hill to my north, haven't I? We in the wind. <laughs> Bottle, no straw in it. 
I'm 85 kilometers in and I'm doing a lot better for time than I thought I would be. <laughs> and I think it's because I forget to incorporate the adventure effect when I'm working out my time ins. Basically, I'm excited and I'm somewhere I've never been and I'm not doing a loop and I don't have to come back the way I came. So like I'm buzzing and I just keep going and here's a car to wreck my video. So yeah, I'm doing really well for time because I'm buzzing. And I think it's also because I, I'm i eating properly as well. Like when I train, which is stupid because that's totally the wrong like way around to do it. But when I train, normally I probably don't eat enough um, for what I'm doing. Whereas when I'm actually doing the thing, I'm like, oh, I've got to eat, otherwise I won't make it. Also, <laughs> I'm kind of making this route up as I go. Like I obviously know where I need to end up, but um, I'm just kind of winging it and I don't really know where I'm camping tonight either because I'm just going to wing that as well but it's more fun like this and I think that adds to me going faster as well because I'm like this is so fun <laughs> do you know what I mean okay I solved <laughs> the mystery oh well not a mystery but I know why I've done so well for time so far <laughs> because I haven't really done many like proper hills. It's all been like long, gentle inclines really compared to what I'm used to training on in Wales. And I just did a meaty mammoth of a hill. And uh, yeah, it'd be the hills <laughs> that slow me down funnily enough <laughs> happy days oh, that's nice so I'm now 127 kilometers in and I'm sat on the floor <laughs> on a like you know a little pull-in bit on a little side road and haven't filmed that much in the last uh, 25k or so um lots of really nice like smooth back roads like smooth tarmac like this um some not so smooth ones like really fucking vibrate -y. and i did stop at a tesco's got some chocolate a bird flew out of a hedge and hit me in the arm um other than that pretty uneventful the only drama that I'm really having is the fact that my fanny really hurts. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's just hurting. <laughs> but yeah, it's not really that surprising, is it? Like, you know, skinny little bike seat and all that. So yeah, I'm aiming for a chip shop. Because <laughs> this is all about the food. <laughs> I am literally here for the food. It's alright time, really. Um, obviously, my pace has slowed right down because um, I hit some hills. <laughs> funny that <laughs> there was me this like this morning like oh my god i'm so much fitter yeah sarah you're mainly on flat you knob <laughs> um so yeah that's it really at the moment that is my update I've, I've been thinking of all sorts of things i wanted to say whilst i was on the bike but then i just can't be bothered to talk while i'm actually cycling and now i forgot them all anyway i'll get back to you if i you know have anything, anything else insightful to say that isn't about my fanny yeah, I've been going uphill for quite a while and any second now there's going to be a big whoop ass downhill and I can't freaking wait. <laughs> so I'm heading to the chip shop in Largs, which is on the coast and I'm up quite high so I know that any second I'm going to be going down a big mofo of a hill, which is going to be freaking amazing. <laughs> Give me the chips! <laughs> Holy shitballs!
damage you to the eye. <laughs> Me. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. If I stop, if I stop, I'll get eaten. Sorry about heavy breathing. I'm bloody knackered. Is my hand on the wrong way? No. Oh god. So I left lags, obviously, and now I'm cycling up into the hills above lags to hopefully find a wild camping spot um, it's 10pm I've done over 160k and I'm trying to get up to some reservoirs not reservoirs locks, actually they could be reservoirs I don't know, whatever oh shit, hang on um, I'll keep talking yeah, I'm trying to get up here because I think there's a few spots but I'm knackered and my chips are gonna come up <sighs> oh my god I am pretty ball bagged to be fair <laughs> not gonna lie but look at it it's so peaceful and calm <sighs> However, I, I might have to cycle all night because <laughs> if I stop, the midges get me. <laughs> Whereas if I keep cycling, they don't get me. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> might continue till tomorrow morning. <laughs> no, fuck that. I'm knackered. I'll take the midges, they can have me. <laughs> oh, the sky is amazing over there. Anyway. I've just wreckied up here and uh, it's a unanimous yes from uh, me. <laughs> I'm going up here. <laughs> it's sick. This is the only problem when you find a good spot that's up a hill. <sighs> so whilst I'm setting up the tent, I must introduce you to my latest piece of kit the midge jumper <laughs> it keeps the midges out it makes you look like a twat you can keep bees when you wear it <laughs> seven in one get it now on jml for 20p <laughs> love it though look at it net they ain't getting in here are they <laughs> Well, I hope not, anyway. <laughs> to be honest, there was probably like 25 of them already on me when I put it on, so they're in here with me now, I can imagine. It's basically a lock-in. <laughs> and I'm the freaking buffet. <laughs> Great. <sighs> Happy freaking days, boys. So I did a hundred and sixty four K today. Um, which explains why my fan hurts so much. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, I've never done that distance on the bike before in one day. And also, I've never had um, as much weight on the bike either. So, I'm pretty sure for that. Oh, God, that is bad. What the f... <laughs> I'm just a poor boy. I need no sympathy Cause I'm easy come, easy go 
What's the words? Bear with one mo. Little high, little low. Any way the wind blows doesn't even matter to me. Beep, beep. What the fuck? I don't like bloody. What is it? That climb thing. <laughs> <laughs> it. Okay, let's not think about it when I'm in a tent on my own in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, good night. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually freaking myself out now. <laughs> Moving on. I love how you can still see the sunset like now. It's like half eleven. <laughs> that is amazing. How cool is that? Bloody love this place. Anyway, no star. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep because I'm not tired. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine. When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside And I kind of feel like calling But it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you We were such a constellation right No you to agree Welcome to Inverkip! Woo! <laughs> Um, this is my end point for cycling, although it's kind of not. It would be my end point for cycling if my paddleboard was like right here, right now, and all my kit. But obviously all of that stuff is still in Lockerbie. Um, so, and funnily enough, there's a train strike this weekend, which is fabulous. So I can't get a train from Inverkip across to Glasgow and then down to Lockerbie to get my van and all my stuff. So I've got a cycle to Glasgow, which is like... <laughs> two and a half three hours and the way that my arse is feeling is probably going to be about five so um yeah i'm adding this on now to, to, to cycle to get the train from glasgow to go and get my van but hey hey it is what it is isn't it um train strikes will be train strikes i mean i'm sure they're doing it for a really good reason and i really hope they get what they want but if they could have just not done it this weekend anyway like i said is what it is um so yeah this is where i'm gonna leave from um asap <laughs> as quickly as I've got my kit because the other thing is I can't then get a train here tonight which is annoying because I'd like to start at 4am tomorrow morning so I'm going to get a train tomorrow and then I'll either start tomorrow night or I'll sleep on this beach and start on Tuesday morning it's currently Sunday by the way um, so yeah I'm going to have to see what happens really with the conditions and stuff but now I'm going to go and find some food again and then cycle to bloody Glasgow. <laughs> I've got a bit of a dilemma because there's two routes. I either go back up the horrendously long steep, like I'm talking a good six, seven K of uphill, back up there and then down the other side and then to Glasgow, or I take an A road, which is a dual carriageway, which I really don't fancy either. Um, so I don't know, I'm like two minds at the minute. We'll see what happens. <laughs> once I've had some food, I'll see how I feel. <laughs> I'll probably take the hill once I've had food, but just because I don't like dual carriageways. Anyway. Woohoo! I feel like I'm on the Taft Trail now, boys. This is the cycle route 75 and it heads to Glasgow which is awesome and I only found this out because I was chatting to an old man when I got my breakfast 
it's amazing how many people come and talk to you when you've got a bike like loaded with kit and you're clearly doing something and he came to talk to me because he does cycling and then uh, yeah he told me about this cycle route so legend <laughs> despite the fact that my fanny still feels like someone lobbed a grenade at it <laughs> I'm actually quite enjoying this <laughs> change of scenery I hate going back on myself so I really didn't I know it was like a big hill as well which was another reason but I really didn't want to go back on myself this morning so I'm chuffed chuffed I don't even care about the train strikes anymore train strikes what train strikes barrier over with my bike <laughs> causing a scene <laughs> Ah. Uh -huh.